What does that even mean anymore? That we declare our independence and march off to some port? Word is that the mages will be joining us here in Haven. I hope you've chosen your allies wisely, Harold. Walk in the Maker's grace. I've heard about Valroyo. This is... this is not right. I will not be joining them. At least the Inquisition does not stand directly opposed to the Chantry. I'd like your take on the Templar Order. It's a shadow of what it was. Where once we both protected all people from the dangers of magic, we now posture and grab at power. One day, I hope the Circles are again sanctuaries where mages can practice their craft. You're not going to rejoin the Order. When the temple went up, your forces rescued those few of us still alive. My life is a debt I intend to repay, however I can. You have any idea what caused the explosion? No, I'm just a recruit. Belief and faith doesn't get you closer to the important meetings. Though, that distance did save my life. How did you come to be a Templar? It seemed the right thing to do. My family are tradesfolk in Denarim. I could have become a cobbler like my father, but this seemed better. It's a chance to uphold the Chantry's laws and help the mages through a troubled time. Not every Templar feels that way. I know. Power can corrupt. It's a delicate balance. One person trying to do something can make a difference. You should keep that in mind, Harold. I will talk to you later. Walk in the Maker's grace. You there. There's a shield in your hand. Block with it. If this man were your enemy, you'd be dead. Lieutenant, don't hold back. The recruits must prepare for a real fight, not a practice one. Yes, Commander. We've received a number of recruits. Locals from Haven and some pilgrims. None made quite the entrance you did. I just hope I can help. As do we all. It is enough that you would try. I was recruited to the Inquisition in Kirkwall myself. I was there during the Mage Uprising. I saw firsthand the devastation it caused. Sir. Cassandra sought a solution. When she offered me a position, I left the Templars to join her cause. Now it seems we face something far worse. I must have this mark for a reason. It will work, I'm sure of it. Provided we can secure aid, but I'm confident we can. The Chantry lost control of both Templars and Mages. Now they argue over a new Divine while the breach remains. The Inquisition could act when the Chantry cannot. Our followers would be part of that. There's so much we can... Forgive me. I doubt you came here for a lecture. You've given this a lot of thought. I know what happens when order is lost and action comes too late. There's still a lot of work ahead. Commander, Sir Ryden has a report on our supply lines. As I was saying. Kind of a force of nature, aren't you? When I need to be. 
It's impressive. You flatter me. I'm trying. Did I do the right thing? <laughs> what I have set in motion here could destroy everything I have revered my whole life. One day they may write about me as a traitor, a madwoman, a fool. And they may be right. What does your faith tell you? <laughs> I believe you are innocent. I believe more is going on here than we can see. And I believe no one else cares to do anything about it. They will stand in the fire and complain that it is hot. <laughs> but is this the Maker's will? I can only guess. You don't think I'm the Herald of Andraste? I think you were sent to help us. I hope you were. But the Maker's help takes many forms. Sometimes it's difficult to discern who it truly benefits, or how. What's going to happen now? Now, we collect the rebel mages and close the breach. And if there are consequences to be paid for what I have done, I pay them. I only pray the price is not too high. You didn't have any choice. Didn't I? My trainers always said, Cassandra, you are too brash. You must think before you act. I see what must be done, and I do it. I see no point in running around in circles like a dog chasing its tail. But I misjudged you in the beginning, did I not? I thought the answer was before me, clear as day. I cannot afford to be so careless again. It wasn't like you had no reason to suspect me. I was determined to have someone answer for what happened. Anyone. You've said you don't believe you're chosen. Does that mean you also don't believe in the Maker? I believe he exists. That's comforting. Surely the Maker put us both on this path for a reason. Now it simply remains to see where it leads us. And what are we supposed to do, exactly? What you always do, complain. We've already spoken with Commander Cullen. No one listens. We want better quarters. We want the Templars kept at a distance. And some respect for... This is not the Circle. You mages are our allies, not our wards. Act like it. How are we supposed to... Deal with it. It never ends, evidently. Is there an issue with the mages? Can I help? The mages are here as equals. They need to get used to what that means. It is your doing, after all. You created this alliance. Well, I hope it works. What other choice do we have? Oh. I do sound like I'm blaming you, don't I? I don't disapprove. In fact, you did well. You made a decision when it needed to be made. And here we are. I wish I could say this was my doing. You're flattering me. I'm not. This always happens. Nobody ever takes my meaning. <laughs> you should see your face. I'm thinking less flattering things now. <laughs> Let's hope the Breach has your sense of humor. It occurs to me I don't actually know much about you. What do you want to know? I'm not sure. Where are you from? I was born in Ostwick. And that's where most of my family is. 
the Trevelyans, is it not? A large clan with a rather clever coat of arms. Tell me, do you consider the free march as your home? Are you eager to go back? I might, once this is done. It will not be the same once you do. I'd like to get to know you better. You would? Is that a problem? Not entirely. I'm just curious as to your motivation. Is there any harm in us becoming a little closer? Plenty. Is that right? <sighs> as you wish. My name is Cassandra Pentagon, daughter of the Royal House of Navarra, 78th in line for the Navarran throne. I joined the Seekers of Truth as a young woman and was with the Order until they withdrew from the Chantry. I remained as the Divine's right hand, carrying out her order to form the Inquisition. And here we are. That's all there is to know, my lord. You're a member of Navarra's royal family. The Pentagasts are a very large clan. Half of Cumberland could say the same. Really? No, but it feels that way. I have hundreds of relatives so distant they need charts to prove we're related at all. And they have them. Oh, yes. The Pentagasts value their precious blood like it runs with gold. And you joined the Seekers to get away from that? It was a life worth getting away from. The Pentagasts are famed for dragon hunting, but few actually pursue the craft. Most are fat and lazy. They pay lip service to the Maker and care only for idle pleasures and past glories. My brother was all that kept me in Navarra. Once he was gone, so was I. Tell me about your brother. I would prefer not to speak of Antony. Another time, perhaps. So you were the right hand to the Divine? To Divine Justinia, yes. And Divine Beatrix before her, in fact. The position is normally reserved for Templars of the Knights Divine, but my circumstances were unusual. Unusual how? You don't know the story? Thank the Maker. I will tell you if you wish, but it isn't as exciting as some drum it up to be. The short version is that I once saved the previous Divine's life. My reward was becoming her right hand. You don't seem to like your homeland much. My family polluted it for me. What little I saw of my homeland was through the bars of a gilded cage. My uncle treated me like a porcelain doll to be placed on a shelf and dusted only when necessary. Thus, I did not see Navarra, the real Navarra, until much later. By then, I realized I knew it not at all. Your uncle? What about your parents? They had the misfortune of taking the wrong side in the second attempt to overthrow King Marcus. The king executed them, but spared my brother and I since we were family and children at the time. Thus we were raised by my uncle, a mortaletasi who preferred the company of his corpses to the living. Your uncle was a mortaletasi? A death mage. He still is. My countrymen do not burn the dead, they bury them in special crypts. The Mortaletasi supervise the crypts, like priests. Uncle Vestalis oversees the Grand Necropolis. Nevarans spend more time honoring dead relatives than they do with living ones. It is odd to be so fascinated with death and its trappings. I will never understand it. I'll let you get back to work. The mages are ready to approach the breach. I pray this will be enough to close it. I know you're worried about having the mages here. Give them a chance to prove themselves. Now, I'm not questioning their ability or their intentions, but we cannot ignore the risks. I will not endanger the alliance you've created. We need their help. Any precautions taken will be to ensure the safety of our people and the mages themselves. Nothing more. Why would Templars break away from the Chantry? 
The Order believes the Chantry no longer supports their efforts. Not to the extent they should. But the Templars have served the Chantry for ages. And in that time, they've come to take the Order's services for granted. Templars risk their lives against blood magic, demons, abominations, to feel as if those efforts are dismissed. Now, I may disagree with the Order's actions, but I'm here as proof of that. But I sympathize with their frustrations. Is there anything I should know? I'm glad to have the charges on our side. Bull's men are professionals, despite evidence to the contrary. That's all for now. I'm sure you have other matters to attend. They've got good form. Cullen's putting his Templar training to good use. Did Cullen tell you he was a Templar? He's not wearing the armor. He didn't have to. Might not be a Templar shield, but it's a Templar holding it. He angles the shield just a bit down. Helps direct fire or acid away, so it doesn't spray right into your face. Kalari learned the same thing when we trained to fight to Vinter Mages. Your Templar's doing good work. I'm impressed by what Cullen has accomplished with the troops. Damn right. It takes time to build a group into a team, but he's got their loyalty. Now he just needs them to make a decent shield wall, and they'll be good to go. Biggest problem for the Inquisition right now isn't on the front line. It's at the top. You've got no leader, no Inquisitor. Sandra has been the driving force of this Inquisition. She's the leader in all but name. The Sandra's a seeker. From what I gather, that's a bit like a Ben Hasra. She's a good hunter and a great fighter, but she doesn't see the big picture. Too busy searching for answers. My people don't pick leaders from the strongest, or the smartest, or even the most talented. We pick the ones willing to make the hard decisions, and live with the consequences. Ah, who knows? Maybe you seal the breach. The Chantry gets off its ass and all those soldiers go home and get fat. You think? It could happen. It won't. But it could. So, now that Cassandra's out of earshot, are you holding up all right? I mean, you go from being the most wanted criminal in Thetis to joining the armies of the faithful. Most people would have spread that out over more than one day. I'm just glad I'm still standing after all that. I still can't believe you survived Cassandra. You're lucky you were out cold for most of her frothing rage. For days now, we've been staring at the breach, watching demons and maker knows what fall out of it. Bad for morale would be an understatement. I still can't believe anyone was in there and lived. If it was that bad, why did you stay? Cassandra said you were free to go. I like to think I'm as selfish and irresponsible as the next guy, but this... Thousands of people died on that mountain. I was almost one of them. And now there's a hole in the sky. Even I can't walk away and just leave that to sort itself out. It's pure luck that I escaped. Good luck or bad? You might want to consider running at the first opportunity. I've written enough tragedies to recognize where this is going. Heroes are everywhere. 
I've seen that. But the hole in the sky... That's beyond heroes. We're going to need a miracle. The Mage Rebellion joins the Inquisition. I've got to admit, that's a twist I didn't see coming. One thing you saw in the future worries me. I mean, it was all bad. But Red Lyrium and Ferelden infecting people and growing out of them, that's bad. Finding more of it really punches a hole in my Red Lyrium at the temple was a coincidence theory. How long does it take for Red Lyrium to grow? How fast can it spread? It took years to infect people in Kirkwall, but no one there was actually ingesting the stuff. This Elder One managed to take the worst thing I can think of and make it worse. That's an accomplishment. The Inquisition has the numbers to track down all this Lyrium and destroy it. I hope so. I don't want to think about what happens if it starts a plague. I've got people trying to find out where the red stuff came from. I think maybe we should make that a priority. But that's enough doom and gloom. You just won a big victory for the Inquisition. What are you going to do to celebrate? That's a good point. We should celebrate. A banquet. Something like a banquet. A word to Josephine, and I bet she could arrange anything. Things should be calm around here for at least the next hour. Take a moment to enjoy it. If the world's about to end, I'm sure the Seeker will let us know. Need something? Carry on. So, this is it, huh? Oh, no, it's fine, yeah? It's just... I thought it'd be bigger. <laughs> Hear that? I meant the stronghold, but it sounded like... Well, it's funny, right? Anyway, stopping wars should earn more sovereigns than this. Need things back to normal for coins to be flowing again. Another reason the Templars and Mages need to be sat down. It's not just a war between those two. Well, sure, the sky has a hole in it. But I can't put an arrow in that. Well, I have. Doesn't come down. That's weird. And that's the point, right? It's weird and right there, but they still want to punch each other. They're too busy to look up where the real questions are. That's why we're here. To help guide everyone back from the brink. The religious ones tell you that. That's important, right? But don't make it all about that. Seems like believing too hard is what got everyone here. And here is stupid and smells of horse. Really? What everyone needs is to get everything back to normal and proper and profitable. Sound good to you, All Chosen Lord Herald? I'm committed to putting an end to this crisis, whatever it takes. It's why I'm here, yeah? This is where it gets done, whatever it is. Can't do a bloody thing with everyone pissing themselves. Stupid everyone. Well, that's mages all over. So many robes, I bet all of Ferelden lost their curtains. I'll just be the other side of Haven, just in case. These mages are here to aid the Inquisition. Don't worry. Sure, don't worry. Magic up there, magic down here. What's to worry about? I mean, yay, freedom. Great for them. Over there, away from me. Tell me about yourself. What about me? You're skilled. Who taught you how to use a bow? No one. That seems unlikely. What? I picked it up here and there. Mostly it just makes sense. It's not like that for you. Usually it takes considerable discipline. Hence my question. Hence? Look, I work at it. Practice a little. Not like Cullen and his pets. I mean, you miss, then you don't. Is it that hard to see when it's wrong? Is it an elf thing? <laughs> Most I know couldn't find an arrow sitting on it. Right. Maybe I just make it look easy and shite company. Fact still is, 
No teacher. Where would I find one in alleyways, anyway? <laughs> How about the basics? Where are you from? Ferelden. I got that from the accent. Where in Ferelden? All over. Okay, fine. Denimrim for a bit. South, north, wherever I want. There are no connections you want to mention at all? Nope. How very Kunari of you. What? Never mind. Good, right? You're not like most of the elves I've met. Thanks, right? Or was that an insult? I suppose I could go barefoot and whine more. Like that soulless, right? Never be as good as we were. Well, who's we? I'm just fine. There's a lot of tradition there. Should it just be thrown away? Your great-grandfather's dead. Why aren't you dead? You're throwing away tradition. That makes sense to you. None of it does in the city. That's why I'm not like an elf. We'll talk later. If you say so. The Chantry isn't supporting us. Mages. Lovely. They should have this breach sealed soon enough. Blessed are the peacekeepers, the champions of the just. Blessed are the righteous, the lights in the shadow. In their blood, the Maker's will is written. Is that what you want from us? Blood. To die so that your will is done? Is death your only blessing? You speak for Andraste, no? What does the Maker's Prophet have to say about all of this? What's his game? How is this a game? Do you see the sky? What about the temple ruins? The bones lying in the dust? Even if you didn't support the Divine's peace, you wouldn't call this right. Who could? So many innocent lives. The faithful murdered where the holiest of holies once stood. If the Maker willed this, what is it if not a game or a cruel joke? I speak for no one but myself, and I have no answers for you. Then we can only guess at what he wants. The Chantry teaches that the Maker abandoned us. He demands repentance for our sins. He demands it all. Our lives, our deaths. Justinia gave him everything she had, and he let her die. Uh, maybe you should be angry at the people who murdered her. If the Maker doesn't intervene to save the best of his servants, what good is he? I used to believe I was chosen, just as some say you are. I thought I was fulfilling his purpose for me, working with the Divine, helping people. But now she's dead. It was all for nothing. Serving the Maker meant nothing. Maybe you have another purpose. I could help you find it. No, this is my burden. I regret that I even let you see me like this. It was a moment of weakness. It won't happen again. Come, to work then. We will speak later. Chosen of Andraste, a blessed hero sent to save us all. I didn't ask for this, but someone has to find a way to seal this breach. Spoken nobly indeed. You think I'm mocking you? This age has made people cynical. I've journeyed deep into the fade in ancient ruins and battlefields to see the dreams of lost civilizations. 
I've watched as hosts of spirits clash to reenact the bloody past in ancient wars both famous and forgotten. Every great war has its heroes. I'm just curious what kind you'll be. What do you mean, ruins and battlefields? Any building strong enough to withstand the rigors of time has a history. Every battlefield is steeped in death. Both attract spirits. They press against the veil, weakening the barrier between our worlds. When I dream in such places, I go deep into the Fade. I can find memories no other living being has ever seen. You fall asleep in the middle of ancient ruins. Isn't that dangerous? I do set wards. And if you leave food out for the giant spiders, they are usually content to live and let live. I've never heard of anyone going so far into the Fade. That's extraordinary. Thank you. It's not a common field of study for obvious reasons. Not so flashy as throwing fire or lightning. The thrill of finding remnants of a thousand-year-old dream? I would not trade it for anything. I will stay then, at least until the breach has been closed. Was that in doubt? I am an apostate surrounded by Chantry forces in the middle of a mage rebellion. Cassandra has been accommodating, but you understand my caution. Cassandra trusts you. She won't let anyone put you into a circle against your will. Thank you. I appreciate the thought. But now let us hope either the mages or the Templars have the power to seal the breach. So we have gained the mages. Excellent. They should be able to seal the breach. You are certain you experienced time travel. Could it have been an illusion? A trick of the Fade? Dorian was sure. Impossible as it seems. What an amazing gift. It is vital the Inquisition succeed to avoid the future you witnessed. So many were dead. More had been corrupted, knowing what will happen if we fail. I suggest we not fail. Speaking of which, you should ready yourself. For? This Elder One. You have now interfered with his plans twice. Once at the Temple of Sacred Ashes, and now again at Redcliffe. A being who aspires to godhood is unlikely to ignore such an affront. The Inquisition supports free mages. What's next? Elves running Hallamshirral? Cows milking farmers? I take it you don't agree? On the contrary, I approve. Heartily. I do wonder if you've considered what this support of yours will do. To mages in general, I mean. The Inquisition is seen as an authority. You've given southern mages license to, well, be like mages back home. What would be wrong with that exactly? Nothing, at first. Thing is, the Imperium was once just like the South. Templars, proper circles, all that rot. Then it changed, by inches. Not that this is reason to oppress us. Still, my homeland should be a cautionary tale, not a source of inspiration. I should go. As you wish. If Fiona and her malcontents are joining us as allies, we need to be prepared. Abominations are inevitable. Cullen doesn't have enough Templars to handle incidents. Some of the rank and file need to be trained. The last thing we need are abominations running amok. It's good to see someone with an understanding of the situation. I'll have a word with Cullen. We are reliant on his people, absolutely. There has never been a greater threat to mages than the Breach. Until it is closed, no one is safe.
You have a low opinion of your fellow mages? It's not so much an opinion as grasping the obvious. Magic is dangerous, just as fire is dangerous. Anyone who forgets this truth gets burned. You're right, but Templars are a poor solution. They are men, and all men are flawed. That some fail does not mean that none should try. The fact remains that there is no cure for an abomination except death. Someone must strike the killing blow. Who shall lower the blade if not a Templar? Tell me something. As you will no doubt have a hand in shaping it, what future do you see for mages? Mages shouldn't be kept out of the Chantry. Who knows the dangers of magic better than a mage? A curious idea. Such twists and turns your mind takes. It's something to consider, my dear. The Inquisition of... I understand you were instrumental in garnering the assistance of the rebel mages. It is well done. And I pray this Inquisition fares better than the Chantry in its handling of magic. We will try. In some ways, Andraste had the simpler task. Magic should serve man, and not rule over him. That tells us what should be, but it does not tell us how to get there. So many times the methods of men have undone the spirit of their goal. Once you have sealed the breach, we shall see whether this Inquisition is truer to the Chantry, or its own namesake. Do you know who the Grand Clerics will choose as the next Divine? It is a difficult decision. All the obvious candidates perished with Divine Justinia at the Conclave. The Grand Clerics are terrified of the Inquisition. They will not decide soon, and I fear they will not decide wisely. Whoever is chosen needs the Inquisition's support. No one else seems likely to seal the breach. Farewell, revered mother. Make her go with you. I'll take my leave. Good day. Who was she, Ambassador? A merchant. I thought we should reach out to the Dwarves to secure Lyrium for the Inquisition's mages. According to Lady Corpin, it raised the ire of the Chantry. How? Oh. Access to Lyrium makes us rather more formidable than I anticipated. We are becoming a challenge. Sadly, the remaining Grand Clerics appear to be consolidating the Chantry's power instead of comforting the masses. The Chantry couldn't solve its own problems when it had a divine. Yet many people continue to bear it great love. We will not benefit from its decline. Little but the Chantry ties Orlais, Nevara, Ferelden, Antiva, and even Rivain to a common cause. Has the Chantry truly promoted such peace? Andraste's chant is familiar across kingdoms, a source of many shared customs. That is the crucial point. Common ground is the start of all negotiations. I suppose a shared faith can be useful when talking with strangers. Precisely. And these similar interests are merely where we begin. We must learn to think beyond our own wants, to secure peace in Thedas. Planning to steer the history of the world, Ambassador Montillier? I believe the Inquisition is already charting that course. Which brings me to a question, if you have a moment. The remaining Grand Clerics sent a missive inquiring about the events at the Temple of Sacred Ashes. They demand to know whether the Inquisition officially claims that Andraste saved you from the breach. If it were up to you, how would you reply?
I'll tell the Chantry I was saved by circumstance, not divine intervention. Yet as rumors your Andraste's herald grow, the Grand Clerics may not believe such a humble reply. A difficult situation, and I thank you for your answer. A good day to you.